We're working on the diesel heater today. Threw it overboard. Uh, so, honey, what did you find? Some beehives. Oh my. Look at that. Talk about major blockage. Yeah, that's not the right belt for your Yanmar. I feel like we should be putting a seatbelt on this thing. OMG. <gasps> Holy We're ready for you here at Ace today. Thank you very much. Right that way to <laughs> <laughs> We're working on the diesel heater today. We've come to the conclusion that even if we are making miles south down to Florida, we're probably still gonna be a little bit cold. And we did install a brand new diesel heater in the engine bay, but we had an exhaust leak coming from it. So now we're just gonna take out the whole line and replace it. Okay, so I've just freed that now tight quarters as usual. This is the pipe we gotta get out of the engine bay. I just went and grabbed that hose, threw it overboard. We're pretty good at doing that. There she be, there I be. That was really fun when we threw the hot water tank overboard yeah, <laughs> last year. That was pretty cool. Okay, I got it. <laughs> have that uh, fitting you took off the outside. Thanks. You're welcome. I don't know, maybe I can clean it up. I'm not sure. Sure would make dealing with the hole, the hole a lot easier. That would. Let's try it. <laughs> well, it's time to change the V-belt. The mechanic that has been working on some things in here for us doing our alignment and engine mounts he took one side glance at our belt and said, that's not the right belt for your Yanmar. Um, so, so Jeff looked it up and realized, yeah, it's not the right belt that should be on here. And so we're going to um, replace it with the actual correct Yanmar belt. Jeff has never done this before. Learning something new every day. It's never boring, hey? How are we supposed to know? <laughs> Every other mechanic that's been in there said it was just fine. Shocker. I got it. Got a shape to it. It's a Gates brand V belt. Okay. <laughs> it's the wrong one. And so you're wanting to clean those pulleys off a little bit from the belt vest. Yeah, there's like there, there's rough edges where it has become a bit corroded. So I'm going to wire brush it off and then I'm going to uh, just gently high, high level sandpaper it. Time to do a little bit of round two sanding in there. Just the tiniest little bit for wherever it's coarse, which this one actually, despite what it looks like, is pretty damn smooth. Although down here there's a bit more. Hmm. All right, new belt time. We picked this one up from Town Creek Marina in Beaufort. They are the Yanmar dealer. And so we just mauled them up and they had it in stock. Simple as that. Yeah, so simple. If only everything worked out that way. Have you ever pulled a, put a belt on before, Jeff? No. Okay. <laughs> just you want to learn? Okay. <laughs> We're just checking. <laughs> We had to fully take the alternator off and then put the belt on it and the two pulleys. And now we're putting the alternator back in place. There's a test to check for the tension of the V-belt. It, it's supposed to be what? Three eighths? I think it's three eighths deflection when I push my finger right here. Yep. So that's how we can see if we're too tight or tight enough or whatever. Perfect. So here, you want, you want to press on the bell? Okay. One, two, three, one, two, and a little bit, a little bit tight maybe. Okay, so let's just fix that now. So it's supposed to be what? Between three eight eights. and ten? Millimeter, three eighths inch. Oh. Ah. And That's, how much so was that, that? Maybe is a little bit tight, so I'll just pull that slightly off.
Okay, let's do this again. Okay. Okay, go. That seems about right. And while we're doing that, we're also, of course, working still on the exhaust, the uh, diesel heater project here. Interestingly enough, Jeff found some little surprises in the tubing yesterday. Uh, so, honey, what did you find in this pipe yesterday? Beehives. Some beehives. Oh, my. There were two of them stuck in there. So, in addition to having that cracked cement, mortar, whatever it was, and having an exhaust leak from that, we were also getting back pressure <laughs> coming through here from two beehives. So that, that's fun. Beehives of the perfect size. Oh my gosh. Wow. They were jammed in there. There was two of them. One I knocked out and then this other one fell out after. But look at that. Talk about major blockage. Yeah, that would have definitely made any other seal. Fire hazard. <laughs> Not work. <laughs> Fire hazard. Yep. <laughs> Good morning, it's another beautiful sunny day. We're about to go back into town to get our propane filled. And Jeff has the window screen over there. And we're gonna be taking it back to Atlantic Glass and get them to put in the couple of holes that we need. We'll also be making a stop at the grocery store, I think, and maybe a liquor store. We'll see, we're running low on beer. So yeah, come on with us, let's go to town. Here comes Jeffy now. Let's go. Ooh, we got our window screen back. Got our holes done. Yeah, pretty close. And those two over there. And then all we have to do now is put it back together on the boat. Hopefully well, no, it all not fits. quite. We have to put these <laughs> pieces there to attach that. Yeah, the frame. Which I made really... them. I made them, but I have to drill and tap for them. And then we have to tweak the hinges so that it actually does seal as best it can in that top corner. The gasket is quite old, but we're going with it. That's we're, all we got. Can't get it anymore. It, yeah. yeah, they don't make it anymore. <laughs> I feel like we should be putting a seatbelt on this thing. Precious cargo back there. <laughs> yeah, the amount of time and energy, right? It adds yeah, up. exactly. On to Ace Hardware to get some fasteners for that little bracket on the corners of the frame and also look for some silicone, silicone, silicone high temp sealant for our diesel exhaust, and heater exhaust line. Yeah, line but that should work too if we pull it yeah. off well we learned a cool trick which i guess we'll show in another episode. we will yeah. show you <laughs> making a pit stop at the tractor supply company online they were a provider of this silicone so we'll see if maybe they have some in stock by chance nope no luck there okay on to ace Nice Halloween outfit. Nice. And everything, but we're ready for you here at Ace today. Thank you very much. Right that way. To <laughs> <some books. laughs> I know that's a bit much, but people are like, they like to do that that tank where they're like. Unfortunately, we're striking out everywhere. One last shot at maybe Williams Hardware. We'll see. We are getting our screws though, so that's good. Got our propane. Twenty-two bucks. It'll last us maybe about two months, maybe three. Last stop at the groceries, got the necessities. We also picked up some spam at the store too, so get ready for that. Oh yeah. So that was a pretty successful little jaunt into town. We hit up a lot of places that's only been like less than two hours. Struck out with that sealant though. We're gonna have to order it online, I think. No one carries it, I don't know why. We might as well, because we have to wait for the other piece to come in anyway, the extra little bit of tubing we need. Yeah, that has to be ordered from like, I think it's Washington <laughs> State that has it. We'll have that conversation supplier. with them today, I guess. I think so. Yeah, we need to get a move on on this. It is Halloween today, so we are going to be having a Halloween party over at the lounge later. So we'll get some footage of that, some potluck style. And uh, yeah, I got to make some sort of a Halloween-y appetizer to bring along. Great pumpkin carving. Yes. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> I think my idea was best. 
We've got a hole in the bottom. We put that over the bad propane tank. <laughs> there she flows. I still think that would be best. I am preparing our appetizer to bring to the Halloween potluck tonight. First step is to boil some eggs. Any guesses so far? And while I'm in there making some eggs, Captain Jeffy is out here working on the frame. Mm -hmm. Here are those brackets that he made for the corners and he just had to out. drill and tap to squeeze them all together. Frick, our boat is a complete disaster in the cockpit. Yeah. <laughs> good grief. Look good? Yeah, it's coming together. This last hole is going to be a little tricky because I had another I think it looks good. pilot that was off. But, um, you can do it, baby. And he does it! Nice job, babe. I think so. Not bad, anyway. But close enough. All of them are in, and the other corner has them all in, too. It's not going to fall apart, I can guarantee you that. Yeah, no kidding. Now the grand reveal, we're going to take some of this tape off, and then we're going to put it in place. Right here! Woo! Ooh, yeah. Satisfying. <laughs> Big old ball. Of those YouTube channels where they just play those clips. Oh, yeah. ASMR. Do you guys like this? I hate it. <laughs> and here he comes to put the window in. There's some moments of truth going on here. We're putting the little knobby things in. Already attached these arms just by one screw so far so that if we do need to tilt it a little bit, that we do have that room to play around ever so slightly. The screw from you. And any of those guys are... Well, we just practice run and tighten these guys. The alignment that we did with the holes is pretty perfect. Nice work. OMG. Holy snowy. And it can go further too. Oh, wow, look at that. That's even more than we need to open it. Wow. That is amazing. This is gonna be very helpful when we get to the Bahamas and the tropical places, because we're know. going there now. We're going. Okay, of course, now Jeff wants his turn too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Smooth yeah. like butter. That's good. Try it again, try it again. <laughs> it's a very light window now compared to glass. Yeah. But I love that I can actually dog the thing down properly. Holy. Dog it down, babe. Okay, so nice. that's good. Right. And don't worry, we're not keeping this blue, although it is a halberd grassy blue, so maybe we will keep it. <laughs> okay, time for the grand reveal. What was your guess that I was going to be making for this Halloween appetizer? Last chance, write it down below. Uh, okay, let's look. If you guessed deviled eggs that are kind of in a little bit of a way resembling pumpkins, you are correct! Woohoo! I've never made them before, but the filling tastes really good, and I have high hopes. Happy Halloween! Here's our spooky Halloween! Brought to you by this cake. Wow! Thank you to Gary, who made this. Lots of little appetizers, fajitas. There's some pasta. Over here, looking good. Yeah. Well, you just grab a couple. I want every one. Oh. I see you're saying cooked already. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I use, I use, I use. Gonna have some exhaust with our chicken. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh, those look good, babe. We nice. Nice.